So let us take a look at a video of the normal anatomy. This is the hysteroscopy which is being performed and you can see that as we go inside here first we are able to delineate the posterior vaginal fornix and as the hysteroscope moves back and then gradually forward into the uterine cavity here you are now able to see the ex cervix. This is the external os. The telescope is moving inside the cavity. You can see the folds of the cervical canal. Here this what is coming up is the internal os. The telescope is gradually guided into the internal os. The telescope usually faces some resistance because of the nature of the internal os. And once you have negotiated the internal os which you can see over here, then you find your way into the uterine cavity. So what does the interior of the cavity look like? Well, there are two ostia on either side. So this is one ostium, this is the other ostium. And you can see that the fundus over here is reasonably flat. Okay. So this is one ostium on one side, one tubal opening also called as the ostium. And this is the ostium on the other side. And there may be a very slight inward indentation of the top of the uterus, which can be called as an arcuate uterus, which is basically a variant of the normal and really does not require any treatment. Uh, after we have seen this, let us move on to the next slide, uh, which shows us a minimal septate or an arcuate uterus. So when we play this video, again, the telescope is going inside the uterine cavity. And as you can see, gradually we negotiate through the cavity and that is the internal loss, which is slowly coming up. And as the telescope finds its way into the internal loss, you will see in this area that there is a dip in the center. There is a de definite demarcation, which is an inward indentation of the fundus of the uterus. And this can be classified as a septate uterus. Though the amount of septum or the degree of the septum is minimal, the two tubal ostia can be clearly seen on both the sides in this picture. So this is a septate uterus. Now we move on to the uh, next one. Now we move on to the third example and this is a patient who has got a complete septum. So when we play this video again you can see that the cervix is seen beautifully and the hysteroscope is gradually entering. You can see that there is a single cervix over here. Two cervices are not there so there is no question of a complete duplication or a didelphis uterus. As we go inside uh, the telescope goes inside and it goes into the cavity but when you reach up till the end of the cavity you find that there is only one ostium seen on one side. Even when you turn the telescope 360 degrees you still cannot locate the other ostium which is basically because one half of the cavity has been completely obliterated or blocked by the presence of the septum. Now the telescope is gradually moved back and slowly we are trying to look for the other half of the uterine cavity which we could not localize. The telescope moves from the right side to the left side and then gradually you are able to see another internal loss as you had seen before and this is the remaining, remaining half of the cavity into which the telescope has entered and here you can see the ostium which is there on the other side. So this patient also has two ostia, however, the entire midline is blocked by the presence of a vertical midline septum and that is what actually needs to be treated. Now let's take a look at the next video and this is a video of a bicornuate uterus. So this is a laparoscopic picture and when this video is played, you can see that there is almost a near complete duplication of the uterus. The reason for showing this video is this cavity of these two separate uteri and the cavity of the completely septate uterus will look exactly similar on hysteroscopy. Therefore, we require a 3D ultrasound to differentiate between these two entities or at least a laparoscopy to confirm before corrective surgery can be performed. Let us now move on and this is a video of a vaginal septum which means that the septum has not just limited itself to the uterine cavity but is also now dividing the vagina into two halves. So this is the septum, this lady has got an oblique vaginal septum but many a times it is a vertical septum and then when the scope goes inside you will be able to see the exact same picture but this is a complete non-fusion of both the ducts and she practically has two separate uteri that are divided by a vaginal septum in the center. 